Hi everyone, my name is Amanda. I'm an actor and artist in Los Angeles and today I am going to show you how to make one of my favorite projects. It's a simple wood sign with any kind of phrase or saying that you want. Um, scrap wood, any size. Uh, this is just a simple piece that I had laying around so I'm going to measure it out to the size that I want. It can be as long or as short as you want. I'm going to go ahead and do 18 inches. That's a pretty standard size for me. So this is step one. Just make sure you have your safety glasses on. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it up. And then make your cut. You can use any kind of saw. You can use a jigsaw, a handsaw, a circular saw, anything that you have laying around is totally fine as long as you can cut the wood. So step two, sand it. Make sure that you get all the rough edges. You can use sandpaper. You can use a hand sander like this. Whatever works for you, whatever you prefer, whatever you have. And just get any edges off that would maybe give you an uneven work surface or a splinter. So that is step two, easy peasy. We're gonna move on to step three. So you have your wood, any size, any type, simple, we're going to stain it now. So any kind of stain that you have, that a friend has, if you want to borrow it, any color. This is my favorite color, it's a dark walnut and it goes really well with pretty much anything. So grab some gloves, just an old rag that you have. and. Do a simple stain. Just make sure you get every single edge. And then don't let the stain build up because then it will be sticky. So just take a clean part of the cloth or even paper towel, wipe off the excess stain. In the end, this is the color that I'm going for with the dark walnut. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we will move on to the next step. I went ahead and let this dry overnight. It makes for a better work surface uh, after you stain it to just kind of leave it and uh, let it dry completely. I didn't stain the back. It's not really necessary. You have it up on the wall usually and uh, you don't see it. So now I want to sketch out what I'm going to put on the wood. I'm going to do a phrase on mine. And remember it's about 18 inches for mine so I'll be able to fit a longer phrase, but you can have a different style and have a single word, you can have a family name, whatever you want, have fun with it. Now the best way for me to get the right size paper for this, take a normal piece of paper, fold it in half, cut it, and then tape it together, and you get something about the size of the wood. So I'm just going to set the wood on top of the paper, trace out exactly how big it is. So now I have a good idea of, all right, this is how big I want to make it. I'm going to write out the phrase that I'm going to do and uh, we'll go from there, so. Quick note I wanted to make. Calligraphy is a very popular style right now and it's something that I use a lot and not everybody is comfortable doing it. They're not sure or haven't been practicing. The best way to do it very simply write the phrase or the name of the word in cursive and every downstroke that you do is going to be the thicker line. So like that, that's a very simple cursive A and you can see the downstrokes are the thick ones. So you look at it from far away and it looks fancy up close. It's like, oh, that's not too bad. Consider that, check it out on Google, uh, look up the phrase or the word that you want and uh, just type in calligraphy and they'll give you some samples so you can practice. All right, moving on to the next step. You have your piece of wood, you have your sketch. This is the one I did. It says, see the good, be the good, and it's two different fonts. You can play around with that. Like I said before, have fun, be creative. And I'm just double checking that everything is gonna line up good on here. And it is, so we will go ahead and start to transfer. So grab a piece of chalk, sidewalk chalk, chalkboard chalk, anything you have. Go ahead and use that and just rub it on the back right where you have 
your sketch. All right, take your finger and rub it in just very, very slightly so that when you shake it, it doesn't all come off. So I put just a couple pieces of tape on here and I'll line it up. All right, that's where I want it. So I don't want the paper sliding all over the place when I'm tracing it, so secure it. And then just grab a pen and very lightly press in and trace over all of your lines. It's okay if you mess up a little bit, but you just don't wanna to press too hard because you don't want to uh, dent the wood. Um, if it does happen, it's okay. Just try not to do it too much. All right, so then after you do that, you'll see it comes right off on the board. And I usually take a colored pencil um, just because it shows up really well. And I will very lightly trace over that once more. And this is just so that I can get more defined lines and more permanent lines that don't rub off as I'm painting. So I take a wet paper towel, wipe over it, and that won't erase the pencil, but it will erase the chalk. So it's a clearer, more defined work. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and we'll move on to the next step, which will be the paint. We're in the final stage of the project, the painting. That's my favorite part. So I have a bottle of Craft Smart, just a couple dollar paint. You can get it at any craft store. Um, it can be any brand. You can also order it online, but any brand, you don't have to get anything expensive. You can even use house paint if that's what you have and want to use, great. You, uh, if you have a darker stain, use a lighter paint. If you have a lighter stain, use darker paint. So use a thin paintbrush, uh, whatever you have available to you. Um, if you want, you can order these online as well. This is Princeton brand, but anything very fine so that you can get those nice, clean, crisp lines. So go ahead and start painting it up. And as you can see, the transfer went well on this and we're gonna start the lettering here. Take your time, no rush, enjoy it. I will see you on the other side of this. Time to see the final product. Boom, we're done. We made it. All right, so see the good, be the good. Here's some other examples of phrases I use. This has all the same font. I mentioned before you could do a single word, like this one says gather. Um, also, another option is to do white paint on a board. Same size, same style, white paint, sand the edges a little bit for a little uh, rustic look and then black lettering really makes it pop and that also really looks good so i hope you guys had fun i hope you enjoyed it and you were creative i can't wait to see uh, what you guys came up with so another good option for these is uh, maybe a last name or even a first name if you want to have fun with it enjoy see you next time